Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to Sam Strains Live. Here we are with another episode and, well actually it's not really just another episode, this is the 50th episode of Sam Strains Live. I can't believe that, that's 50 episodes, that is unbelievable. Uh, I've been at it now for about three years I think, so that's unbelievable. So there's going to be a lot of sort of 50th related celebrations going on today. We're going to witness a birth. I'll just let that sink in for a second, shall I? Yes, we're going to witness a birth, because obviously some things get old, like Sam's Train's Live, and some things are new. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Uh, I'm also going to be running lots of trains and requests and things. We've got some here. That's not what I wanted to show you. Look, this is the kind of crazy thing we're going to be getting up to today. We have a train with 50 items of rolling stock behind it, so that's something we're going to try. Thank you so much for everyone who has sent in Super Chats. I will be reading those, and I've already been noting down. Uh, that was Sparky129Games, I believe. Thank you to you. I've got lots and lots of requests to do today, so keep them coming in. doesn't matter how many I get. I will just uh, keep going through them, and if I can't get to them all, I'll just do them next episode. So, yep, keep the requests coming in. Thank you so much for those. Uh, I've got a special guest to come in, uh, a, a cheap guest. I'll we'll talk about him later on. Uh, I've got some photos and also a bonus giveaway which I'm going to be doing today, so that should be epic. For now though, welcome everybody to the live stream. How is everyone doing? Uh, pop your name in the chat if you want to shout out and I will do, do my best. William Town, thank you very much to you. Uh, could you please run a passenger train with the most expensive and nastiest loco and rolling stock? What? Call, call of Disappointment Express. You know, William, that is actually a really cool idea. I will have to do that. And I will just say a big thank you to William Babcock, Colin Wikes, Tag Art Double O, Trainline 5000, George Botterini, James Smith, Drew's Railway World, E350TB, Terence Priestley, Lapis Wake, A2020 Vision, Sparky129 Games, Mayo Hosco, William Town, E350 again. Sam is 50 years old. Now, I take issue with that. You can call me any name you like, but 50, that is too far. That's much too far. Uh, Stephen Bat, um, Bearded Frodo, uh, The Monster of Monsters, Shining Time 4. Ooh. I just saw that one. Ooh, the Great Northern Atlantic with six enemy RT coaches. We're going to have to get started on these. I cannot wait for that one. I love that Atlantic. I absolutely love it. Right, Chase Studios, hello to you. Oh, I see someone's defending me. Helen Forster, no, he's not 50. Correct, correct. You you defend those haters calling me 50. <laughs> no, it's not hate, it's not hate, because there was a super chat in there, so you are forgiven, just about. William Babcock, thank you very much. Run the Dean Goods with the Railgun. That Railgun is so popular. Um, the two gunpowder vans and the Great Western Brake Van. Oh, sure, sure. Thank you so much. I'll totally do that. Yo, Gonzalez, hello to you. Where's Duckers at? MDH Games. <clears throat> Mayo Hosco. Uh, Duckers isn't around at the moment. I did send him an email, but I've not heard back. But hopefully he's hopefully he's doing okay. Uh, hello, Uncle No Identity. Nice to see you. Stephen Uloa, hello to you. Uh, Ethan's Trains. There you go. Ethan was begging for a shout-out earlier on, so I'm glad I spotted you. Good one. Uh, Oliver Fan 64 hello to you. Me on. Thank you very much. Could you please run Centenary Smokey Joe? Pushing box fans, please. Absolutely. I love that idea. Pushing, too. I'll have to make a note of that so I don't get that wrong. Philip Page is here. Welcome to you. Rowan M, thank you very much. Could you run two RODs with the railgun push-pull? That's a nice idea. Sure, Rowan. Yeah, I can do that. And Isaac Marchand, uh, thank you very much to you. And also Lewis Hughes, thank you very much to you. Now, while we're at that, I should say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who donated to the channel via Super Chat uh, last week. I really do appreciate it. You all obviously have been entered into to the giveaway and this is really just to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me and my channel via Super Chat and I'm giving away two, oh, sorry, three brand new models at the end of this series. Every Super Chatter from every episode, so that's all of you guys that are popping up, will be added to the list and from this list I will choose three of you on episode five and post the models to you for free. So the locos are this monstrous Hornby LNER Thompson 01 locomotive and this lovely also Hornby J50, which I keep saying is one of Hornby's greatest 060 tank engines, and I think it is as well. And thirdly, but not finally, ooh, 
we have this Oxford Great Western Toad brake van in the lovely grey. Uh, so thank you again if you're considering sending a super chat or indeed if you have already, I really appreciate that. They really go a long way to keep me and my channel running and I'm truly very, very grateful indeed. And today I do have a bonus thing that I'm gonna be giving away today. The winner will be named today. It's this, this is a brand new tooled Oxford rail wagon. I will show you it up close. I thought it said careless petrol for, to start with when I saw this. I thought you don't really want to be too careless around petrol because it has a propensity to explode and like kill you. But no, it is carless petrol, which again is equally useless because without a car, petrol is just a foul substance, isn't it? But yeah, uh, whatever. That's the wagon and it's very nice. Brand new Oxford rail. Uh, right, I will just read some of these. So the Monster of Monsters, some money to invest in a 3D printed mini Sam. That's a really nice thought. Thank you, Monster of Monsters. Shining Time 4, can you run? Oh, yeah, I did see that one. Uh, and William Babcox, me uns. Yes, I saw that. Rowan M, two RODs. Isaac March and Lewis Hughes, sideways 66779. He says, hi, Sam, how are you? Could you double head the LNER B12 and the H1 with a rake of eight to 10 coaches of your choice? That is epic. I love that idea. Yes, of course. And Maryland Midland Productions, can you run American steam engine with a freight train? Of course. Wow, thank you so much, Maryland Midland Productions. Sparky129, could you run a Bullman Express with Pullman in front, BR Blue Tornado, and Pullman coaches? Absolutely, that's cool, Sparky. Kelly Ashford, could you run the Grey Saddle Tank engine with the Santa Express? Now, there's an idea. Totally, Kelly. Thank you very, very much. Harry Chapman, evening, Sam. Could you run a steam loco of your choice? Uh, which is preserved at your local railway, please. Wow, you know, these requests are epic today. Thank you so much. What a good idea that is. And then we have Brendan UP, 1995. Love the content, Sam. Could you run some American stock? Yes, I certainly can. So thank you so much, guys, for that. Anyway, if you want to grab hold of this, I'm going to be giving this away to a member at the end of this stream. So take a look. There's a link in the description if you want to join and become a Sam's Trains member. There's lots of different perks. You get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, birthday videos, uh, behind the scenes content, that kind of stuff. And for today only, you also get a chance to win this. Any tier, uh, be a member, and I will pick one of you at the end of the episode to win this, the Oxford Rail Careless Petrol Wagon. There we are, that's what I shall call it. And as I say, if you're feeling really generous and you'd like to send five pounds or the equivalent, you can choose whatever request and I will show it on the stream, just like these are gonna be shown shortly. Uh, and again, thank you so, so much to everybody who's already sent something, I really do appreciate it. The chat has gone crazy and that is awesome. So thank you very, very much. On the 50th stream as well. This is turning into like a, a proper celebration. Um, right, and Brendan UP1995. Yeah, I did, I did run. I did read that one. I guess they're just catching up, aren't they? Right, so speaking of requests, we have Michael Aldred who wanted to see Smokey Joe pulling a, the dummy end of an HST. Uh, again, so many cool ideas. That's a very unusual one. I've certainly never done that before. And actually, it's a good job that I've got two Smokey Joes because they're getting asked for quite a lot. Because on the middle line, we've got Smokey Joe again, as requested by Jason Evans, who wanted Smokey Joe with some holiday rolling stock and Bullman. So we've got holiday Bullman with the red nose on the back. And then we've got DLT Berkshire, the Oxford Dean Goods with army wagons to make a World War II supply train. Although maybe it would be World War One with the Dean Goods. I'm not sure. It doesn't much matter. It doesn't much matter. It's fictional, isn't it? So that's all good. Uh, so let's get these going and we will have a run and we got lots Ooh, wrong control again we have lots of trains to run today including the big 50 wagon train which I am sort of looking forward to sort of dreading because I reckon it's going to derail it's going to derail I tested it this afternoon and um, you know had it coming out of the sidings and the wagons that derailed I have removed and added more reliable wagons. So hopefully we will be okay. I've also had a little move up swap around with my cabling at the back of the PC, which has actually kind of ruined this shot a bit, hasn't it? So maybe I will uh, figure out another place to put that camera at some point, but who cares? It's all right, it's not terrible. Anyway, where are the trains? They're all gone. Oh, I think it's about to come out from behind. There we go. There's one of the Smoky Joes. It's Smokey Joeception today, and there's more to come with Smokey, actually, definitely. So, yeah, he's a popular old chap, is old Smokey. How's it going, folks? Run 10 locos with one wagon, says Harry Baker. Uh, that's unfortunately a bit more than I can do, because obviously my controllers are only rated at one amp, and I reckon if I 
put ten locos onto them, they would blow up. And look, you can see it there. It's my new controller. I, I couldn't do that to it. Couldn't blow it up. I'm being super careful. No crazy experiments on that controller. Uh, the train spotter from Ta -ta Taranga, Taranga, I guess. Thank you so much. He says, hi Sam, could you please run the Red Andrew Barclay, a 72XX with the Bosch Buster, three Pullman coaches, an ocean wagon and a toad van. What a cool request. We're going to have a competition today. I'm going to pick the coolest request. So keep them coming in. I reckon that's in the, uh, in the running, isn't it, at the very least. Yeah, keep them coming. These are really cool requests. Thank you very much. And Michael Aldred uh, has become an apprentice engineer. So well done. Yep, yeah, you are in the running, Michael. Thank you very much for the wagon. This is cool. I'm, I'm thinking in the future I might just like give away something every episode. I think that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Right, my God, I'm running. <laughs> that, that Oxford Dean Goods is a speedy one. Do you know, I found out that these actually run cordless motors. I might have talked about this before. Yeah, apparently they, they do have cordless motors and they work amazingly well. Maybe that's just in comparison to the other Dean Goods that I have, which is absolutely useless. <laughs> but yeah, there are, I will admit, I'm not a fan of cordless motors. I'm certainly not. But there are a lot of cordless based locos that run increasingly well, aren't there? So it is food for thought. Although I... I I don't like it when they overheat and overload, <laughs> but fr thankfully that doesn't happen too often in model trains. Although if a loco's like got traction tyres or something and something derails, I suppose it could, but not many of them do have traction tyres, which is good. Uh, Ash the Train 2004 says, happy, if, happy, fif happy, if, happy 50th episode. Thank you, thank you. I can't believe it's 50. Tell you what, look, this, this is 50 wagons. That is what 50 looks like. Can you believe that? That's one live stream for every single one of those wagons. That's, I, that's what I was thinking when I was sitting here waiting for this stream to start. I thought, that is just unbelievable. And that is a lot of streams. It doesn't feel like that many. It doesn't feel it at all. Anyway, right, let's get on with the 50th celebrations then. I did tell you we were going to witness a birth today, and this is something quite marvellous. Let's talk about this. So, obviously... The circle of life. I, 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 I hadn't planned a speech, but I'm going to give one. I'm going to give one. The circle of life is mysterious. It's complex and multifaceted, really. Um, things come, things go. Things start anew and things age and things die. But today we're going to be looking at the miracle of creation. I've prepared a cradle for this birth. And I'm hoping it's not going to be a graphic birth. But um, this has been in the making for around nine months. It's been a long journey. I've eaten a lot. But finally, I believe we are ready. Uh, I'm expecting something to come down from the sky. Pay no attention to my arm in the air. That's got nothing to do with any of it. It's happened. It's come down from the skies. We have an O-Gage Bullman, folks. We have it. For the 50th episode, an O-Gage Bullman. I don't, I don't know how it came about. Uh, it probably won't be called Bullman. And we, ha we haven't decided a name, me and its mother. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. But uh, yeah, I, I do want to... Where shall I put this wall well? I do want to show you the cow because I had quite a shock when it first came. Because it, it actually moved me almost to tears when it first came. And I saw this face. Now this face is the face of a cow that's seen the world and is quite unfortunately disappointed by it. It's seen the world and it was not happy with what it saw. And that face is just the epitome of disappointment and sadness, isn't it? It really is. Uh, so yeah, that moved me. Uh, it distracted me when I first unboxed the cow. And so perhaps it's not gonna have the same effect as the double O gauge Bullman, which brings joy. Maybe it's, maybe it's actually going to remind us what a at times, unpleasant world we live in. Uh, yeah, it's the, it is a disappointed cow. I mean, maybe we'll pick a name that reflects that disappointment. Anyway, we're going to put this on the O-Gage track in just a second. <laughs> we'll see how it... I don't actually... I've not tried this, so whether his head's going to bang on the roof. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's done the calculations and I haven't, and he knows his head's going to crack on the ceiling. That's possible, but we'll see. Right, so, thick Bullman, <laughs> says E350TV. He is pretty thick. He's got some thick udders, I'll give him that. That's unusual on a male, isn't it? But, no, Bullman is unusual. That's fine. Uh, how are your fingers, Sam, says Kelly. 
<laughs> my fingers are fine. I've been without plasters since Wednesday, and um, I've not really had any problems with that. In fact, I was fine within a few hours, actually. I just kept wearing the plasters so I could type. Uh, and then we have, name him Manbull, says Williamtown. I like that one. Uh, Maryland Midland Productions, can you run... Oh, Mallard with Casey Jones engine with freight cars and passenger cars. Now, that's a challenge because they um, Casey Jones has got different couplings, but we can totally try that. Mark7188, hope you're well. Keep, uh, congratulations on the 50th episode and keep up the great work. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. And then we have uh, William Hawks wants to see an Atlantic. The C1 double heading with La France to push the pull the Bosch Buster, please. Mega ball. <laughs> Mega ball. Cool. Yes, I can do that. Um... Its face moved you, says A2020 Vision. I had not intended to make that joke, but you are correct, it did. And with that, here we go. We are going to christen the O-Gage layout. It wasn't a layout it, before this moment. It was a bit of naff track with some pretty nice engines running on it, frankly. But now it will become a layout. As you can see, we have the Sentinel just off the edge of the shot there, uh, waiting for this marvellous occasion. It is going to be pushing it so that I don't have to worry about the couplings. Come on then, Manbull. <laughs> That's, I do like that. Oh my God. Oh, it's a bit unbalanced. <laughs> oh my God. I have, oh God, it's gonna tip over, I think. Can you see this? We need to find a way to balance this. I might have to put like something. It might be all right. Is he gonna get his nose cut off by the wind turbine? Possibly. We will see. We will see. There may be a fatal design flaw with this. You'd almost think that the Warwell wagon wasn't designed for a gigantic cow, would you? I had quite a lot of trouble um, conceiving, let's use that word, uh, this cow, because it was tricky to find one that was the right size. But no, I think we are ready. We will do a short run and hopefully it won't fall over and demolish something on the layout below because that would not be good at the start of a stream 50 happy 50 <laughs> hang on let's get the other shot on this is quite an amusing sight there we go da, 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 da. wow well that's that folks i think it's gone out of sight now there we go right well let's stop that let's quit while we're ahead <laughs> i'll stop him over gordon's hill in the hopes that if, like, there's an earthquake or something, you'll come crashing down on the trains. I mean, I don't want that to happen to my trains, but that would be quite funny, wouldn't it? So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we've witnessed a birth. It wasn't a foul, gory birth or anything like that, but um, it was a birth, and that's, again, that's another first for this channel. Um, no, Sam, that's exactly what the Warwell is for. Sam, I thought so, William, but um, when I saw it starting to tip over, I thought perhaps not. Has the cow got a five pole motor, says MDH Games. Not yet, is my answer, not yet, but I'll, I'll think of a way of giving it one. We'll see. Maybe I could make a milking machine for it or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what milk would taste like from an O-gauge bull. Not that it's an O-gauge, or a bull indeed, but whatever. That bull is on steroids, says Mayo. Yeah, can you imagine if that existed in real life? It's not something I'd want to imagine, that's for sure. Right, come on then. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a go at the ridiculous um, 50th anniversary train with the Garrett. Uh, let me talk about some of these requests, actually, because I'm going to set them up live for you. So, woo, woo, woo. so it was William Babcock. So, William, it's your fault when this goes wrong. And yes, I say when, because I think it's inevitable, isn't it? I, I don't think there's any chance of this working. If it works without a derailment, you tell me what I've got to do in the chat, and I shall do it but I cannot see this ending well at all. <laughs> totally not. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to think about that while I take off these wagons. We're gonna leave the Christmas train on the middle line because I've had a request from, uh, let's see, E350TB wanted to see Woolwinder on fast goods. So we're going to economize and use this goods train uh, for Woolwinder, so we'll do that. And then what's the third request? The third request is going to be um, oh, this was a really nice one. This was another good one. Tag Art 00, uh, with the 50th anniversary in mind. I keep saying 50th anniversary, people are going to think I've been doing this for 50 years or something. That's impossible. Yeah, he wanted to see the Class 50 and the J50 as a banker. 
with some blood and custard coaches. Uh, I don't know if the blood and custards have anything to do with 50 or not. But uh, yeah, so we've got, I've decided not to run the Hornby J50 this time because uh, frankly, I'm scared of what the Class 50 is gonna do to it. Because <laughs> um, it's a nice modern loco and the, the Lima Class 50 is a bit uh, brutish, shall we say, just to say the least. But uh, yeah, I, I think this will be okay. I hope it will. This J50 is quite speedy, so we do have we do run the risk of it sort of bulldozing along and knocking um, the coaches off the track or something. Hopefully that won't happen, but you know I'm sure it will because <laughs> that's what happens in these live streams. So yes, let's talk about the Garrett train then. I'll get that in shot for you in just a second. Um, I tested it, like I say, I tested it with the wagons. I think once we're out of the sidings, we might be okay. Um, but that's the big problem, obviously. So I'm going to get these running because they'll they'll like a bit of a warm up, I should think. So let's do that. Wool winder did say fast freight, so we'll knock that up to about 60. That's good. See how the two lemurs get on. The answer is <laughs> the J50 is really shoving the Class 50 along, so that's not so good. But we'll see. See how it ends up. Uh, then we have, oh, Sarah Trier, thank you so much, from William Trier, happy 50 years, thank you so much, uh, Sarah and William, that's very, very kind, thank you very much, uh, let's see if there's anyone else, Sparky's become a member, welcome, Sparky, welcome, I hope you enjoy being a Chief Mechanical Engineer, uh, happy tether anniversary, <laughs> Sam, says Rob, thank you, yeah, your favourite train engine with rolling stock, says Roy Reedman, ah, thank you very much, I will take great pleasure in doing that, thank you. Right, come on then, Mr. Garrett, it's your big moment. 50 wagons, or it might be 49, I think I might have included the Garrett as one of them. Open the points, and here we go. Please go nice and steadily. Oh, careful, Garrett. Oh, it just started off so roughly. Right, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> how, can anyone time it and find out how long that took? I would say maybe it was a second, perhaps it was two, I'm not sure. Two seconds. No, it did not take two seconds before when I tested it. We got out with like two derailments. Two seconds, folks. Typical. Right, off we go again. It's also harder to hear because I've got other trains running, but ah, well, I've done it now. Okay. Let's see, shall we? You see what's happening here? There's the end of the train. It's going past. Seems to be okay now. Uh, once we're out of the siding. Ah, oh, we've left some wagons behind. That's annoying. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you can see that. So I'll have to shove those along, I should think. A bit more power for the Garrett because it's struggling. All right. Let's stop there then gently and let's have a look at the class 50 where is it there it is and i will shove these wagons along how has that happened how have they come uncoupled they weren't doing anything uh, right can you see the runaway is it there oh yeah <laughs> right and the yes the brake van came off as well hmm do you think I'm right to have a bad feeling about this? And it's not just the Garrett, by the way. We've got Donald and Douglas that are going to try and handle this big train today. Oh, that's, that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> Do you think we're going to get some motors burning out today? I think so. I hope not, but knowing the Backman Thomas models, it's very possible. Right, come on, Mr. Garrett. Let's have you. Not too fast, mind. Right. It's going to speed up ridiculously on the other side of the layout, isn't it? Oh, not good. Let's see. There it goes. Slow and Steady has got to win this race, I reckon. AZ Rail, thank you so much. Evening, Sam. Hope you and everyone are well. Uh, request all an A3 with any coaches. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. I can totally do that. So this has got to be one of the largest trains I've ever done on stream, hasn't it? And it seems like it's all going reasonably well. Look there. Crikey. 
Uh, if my request doesn't get in, do it next stream, says Kelly. Ah, oh, that's fine. No problem, Kelly. Yeah, that's what I will do. Yeah, n nobody gets missed out. Uh, it's first come, first served, so like get them in quick if you want them sooner rather than later, but I'll never make you wait more than one episode. So if it's not in this episode, it will be in the next one. All right. So as, well, perhaps I shouldn't say this until we've actually had a complete lap. But as soon as, now that I've got them out of the sidings, they seem to be all right, don't they? Largely. But, uh, yeah, let's wait until we've had a lap, shall we? I reckon that's a foolishly suicidal thing to say until I've seen, until I've seen it finish. Look there. And that is most of my ocean wagons. Someone was asking, why don't you show all of your ocean wagons? Well, I have <laughs> this time. I think most of them anyway. Up there. And it is, that is most of my open wagons. Well, it's probably like more than half. It's probably like uh, two thirds or something like that. <laughs> so, look, imagine all of the crazy requests I've done, right? None of them are as crazy as that. Why can this be fine once it's on the track? And other stuff I do derails. How does that happen? Right. Good. I think then. I think that is a lap complete. Very good. And I will take off the garrote. There we are. Oh. And everyone else's request went fine as well. The J50 doesn't look too bad. It is still like shoving the class 50 along, but amazingly nothing derailed there. I have no clue how that happened, but you just don't you don't argue with these things, do you? I'll take it. Right. Well, what did you think to that? I am amazed that that worked. It's not over yet, so I'm not breathing any big sigh of relief, but uh, for now, it seems like we got away with it. Right, let's see. The model railway legend, can I grab a shout out, please? Yes, of course you can. That's a lot of ocean wagons, says Elia Oid. O Oid. It is, we call it the ocean of ocean wagons. It's a, it's a terrible joke, but you, the jokes have got to be terrible, otherwise they don't get through on this channel. <laughs> All of your coaches somehow says secrets of the spatula. Uh, that I cannot do. There are hundreds of coaches. I don't think I have enough track to handle all of my coaches, unfortunately. Um, but, but I don't think you'll be happy with my request, uh, Kelly, says Mayo. Why not? I didn't see it. <laughs> well, I guess that will make sense when I get around to that. Uh, Stephen Blackwood, thank you so much. Congratulations on 50 episodes, Sam. If we might, could we have your smallest locomotive pulling your largest bit of rolling stock? That might be tricky. Do we consider the, because that would be the Wickham trolley and the railgun again. If you will let me run something besides the Wickham trolley, then yes, I think I can do that. And Luis Buscarino, thank you so much. That is very, very kind of you. Very, very kind. Right, well, since I have a little bit of spare change now, thanks to you guys, we can welcome my special guest for this episode. And of course, you guessed it, it is El Cheapo with something new and cheap to show you. I search for cheap trains, sometimes I review It's apparently El Cheapo Thank you very much for that introduction, Sam. Yes, indeed. So last time we looked at a piece for the model railway, a wagon it was. This time I thought we would go and look at some more scenics. I've purchased some more quite expensive this time scenics, but I'm sure you'll enjoy them. So here is the big reveal then. Here we are. They are these 20 pieces. Uh, basically, they are semi-naked plastic figures. Let me, <clears throat> let me read the, uh, the description for you here. 20 pieces, pack, plastic, assorted, 1 to 75, strange scale. Painted model beach sea swimmer swimming PO, pull, figures, model train Ooh. layout, landscape toys. Can you shout out, says E350TB. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't think Sam will. Do you want Sam to shout out again later on? I don't know. Thank you, E350. And yeah, on Black Friday, they are now $2, $2.31 for 20 plastic people. And here they are. It looks all very, very naff in this little bag, doesn't it? But let's get them out, shall we, and have a look. Ooh, I thought my, um, well, I don't have an elastic band holding my moustache on because it's a real moustache, but I thought something had broken there. Something went click. Here we are. This does look like a murder scene. <laughs> I've just noticed. 
Oh, I thought this was a headless person, but it isn't. She's just doing a pirouette for some Ooh. reason. I say she, I suppose I shouldn't assume gender to any of these horrible monstrosities. <laughs> Let's have a look. So we've got divers. Uh, I like their clothes. Um, yes. Mmm, they make a lot of sense. We've got an armpit cover on this woman, look. See if we can get focused in on that. I like that. Uh, carefully painted is what I would say. Are they doing a dive or is she, has she got a single mono arm that is just connected to her head? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she's not human at all. This guy has just put his finger into a burger making machine because his hand is all bloody for some reason and it's also got a huge like antenna sticking out the top. If that is not an alien, I don't know what is. That is definitely not right. Uh, let's take a look. And oh, we've got this guy. I would say he's in sh swimming trunks, but um, no, it looks like he's just sat in something. Sat on some. Sat on a bench with wet paint, and then decided he would ram his crotch into the bench as well. And he also got some on his face. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yep, you're very much the same. Oh, she's happy. What's happened to you? Hooray! I've got blue paint all over me. <laughs> I love wh how. Why has somebody made the attempt, made the effort to paint like a uh, straps on the back when I'm <laughs> when it looks like that? That is silly. Anyway, let's have one more, shall we? Let's see if there's any particularly good ones. Oh, look, a promiscuous man on his bottom. Let's see how he looks when he's sitting down. Oh, I want that on my layout. We could have him on the seats of a wagon or something on a coach because that's how I sit on the beach. Right, but um, we don't, on on, uh, on El Cheapo, on, on the show, we don't do two dollars, do we? And we don't do semi-naked. So, <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I have a premonition on what's about to happen. We have, <laughs> fresh from Mars, one dollar and eight cents. One to eighty-seven scale seaside people action figure. Ho scale train seaside street layout scenery deck or one dollar. One dollar. And they look. They really do look like pink aliens. I would draw your attention to the guy on the bottom left who looks like a pink orangutan with like an extra arm sticking out. I'm really hoping we have one that looks like that in this pack. The good news is they're not like pink, they are actually vaguely human coloured, which is fair enough, I suppose. Let's get some of these little babies out, shall we? And see what gifts we have for one single dollar. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, they have spilled out horrifically. Right, let me see if I can find, oh my God. <laughs> look, look at this. Look, I've got a big arm and I'm going to show it to the world. Look at that arm. And look at the head. Is it the queen? It's the queen. The queen with monkey lip. With, well, it's like got a monkey. It looks like she's got the makeup on from Planet of the Apes. But that's definitely the queen with like a big extra arm extension or something. We've got um, a portly man here who's sweating and trying to dust the sweat off his head, or maybe he's just waving hi to someone very lazily, I don't know. Uh, let's have a look, this one, oh my god. <laughs> they are naked by the way, that is a point that I do not wish, wish to like forget. We've got this little child, oh my god, look at this. That is terrifying, he's like all hunched over, it's like a unevolved human or something that's really creepy right there this has got to be one of those like mutants with the funny arms come on there's got to be yes yes there is one oh my god look look at that molding oh my god what is this he's got like a big onion ring or something look at his face we've got to get in on close on this face Mmm. <laughs> He's coming to see you in your dreams. Look at the moulding. My God. It's nice, isn't it? But then again, for a dollar, <laughs> I guess it's not terrible. I don't know why you'd want like a hundred naked people for your model trains. I really don't know. Here's a nice one. This is the one from the thumbnail. It would be wrong not to show this one, wouldn't it? 
Um, booby lady, let's see, with a straw hat. <gasps> Has she got detail down there? Sort of, <laughs> if you can call it detail. I probably shouldn't spend too long on this one because it's a bit inappropriate, isn't it? But yeah, there we go. Let me show you them from above. Let's focus in on them if I can. There we are. It looks like a mass murder scene. Uh, it isn't. It's just goods from AliExpress. Well, there you are, um, cheapo fans. Uh, that was uh, that was one for you, wasn't it? That was certainly... I have no words. I have totally no words. This is the first time El Cheapo is, uh, has ever been speechless. Yeah, it's... Uh, yes, Sam, it's best we not bring these back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it was a spare appendage. <laughs> what? That one's friends with Circle. Who's that? James Keir. Yes, I agree. <laughs> maybe they're Circle's passengers. Yeah, a lot of people saying Circle. <laughs> I think maybe you're right. It's a life ring, says John Ewell. Ah, uh, not an onion ring. That's a pity. Would have been nice. I might paint it up so it looks like an onion ring. Will I? Will I really? No, I don't think I will. Well, there you go. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm also thoroughly traumatised, Stephen. Um, but for a dollar, I ain't going to complain. I got a dollar's worth of entertainment out of that, for sure. Well, I will bring in Sam. Hopefully he's, he's going to wonder what on earth is going on here, isn't he? But who cares? That's what he asked me to do. Right, thank you, folks. Goodbye. I found the cheap train and I did review it's apparently El Cheapo. Cheers, El Cheapo. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. I wish you'd taken them with him. I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Anyway, more requests still to come. Let's go for a little bit of a break and I will set up the next trains to run. So thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Go grab some refreshments or something along those lines. Ah, train jokes, we need a bit more of that. And I'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, folks, we are back. Welcome back, everybody. If you've only just joined, an extra special welcome to you. Um, yeah, I mean, so far we've had lots of cool requests, including a ridiculously long train, as you can see, made up of 50 wagons for my 50th anniversary. And yes, we do have some more engines ready to take on that train in just a second, which should be awesome. Thank you so much to everyone who has sent in Super Chat so far. You're all amazing. Thank you ever so much for the support. And you will all be put down to, uh, well, for a chance to get hold of one of these amazing models. We've got the O1, the J50, and also a Toad brake van. And obviously, for my members, I also have an extra giveaway uh, going on today. I'm going to pick a member at random to get this uh, petrol tanker. Careless, carless. I say, I, I, I make these silly jokes and then I can't get them out of my head. Yeah, it's the new 12 ton Oxford Rail tank wagon. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Carl and Debbie Train, thank you so much. He says, hello, Sam, my wife and I love your videos. Could we have a BR9F plus ocean wagons and any other BR standard as a banker, please? Yes, I can totally do that. And Vera Discoyote, can I get any locomotive that has a cow catcher equipped? That's cool. Good, good idea, Vera Dis. Pulling open top wagons filled with the terrifying El <laughs> Cheapo people. That is a good idea. Yes, totally. We will certainly, <laughs> we'll definitely give that a try. Right, well, we've still got lots of come. Uh, lots of come. <laughs> still got lots to come. Bad, bad Sam. Bad Sam. Uh, lots of trains running and some wall of fame to show. I do apologise. Right, anyway, next request. <laughs> Jack Animations, it was you that wanted Donald and Douglas uh, to haul the big 50 train, 50, oh, just, that's thrown me, <laughs> that's totally thrown me. Uh, yeah, the big 50 wagon train, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. Are they even going to be able to handle all of that? I, I don't know, I've not tested it. Then Terence Priestley wanted Smokey Joe with some Pullmans, so we've done that. And then Lapis Wake wanted a lovely Hornby 4P with three suburban coaches. Uh, I don't know if they're technically suburban or not, but they are uh, blood and custards. So there we go. Uh, let's get Smokey Joe running. There we are. Let's get the form P, the 4P off. And with some trepidation, Donald and Douglas. Oh, I think they're managing it. They are moving it. Right, let's look. Let's get the multicab on and I'll, I'll do some shout outs while this goes on. Uh, James Keir, thank you so much. Can you run the King Class and the Castle Class pulling some BR Mark 1 chocolate and cream coaches with sound? Of course. Yes, James, I will do that. Thank you very much. What's happened? Something's gone wrong. Oh my God. What? 
How has that happened? I thought, I mean, I saw my life flash before my eyes. I thought, it's those wagons, they're off, but it's not the wagons. And I don't know how to get to them. Is it in the way of any other trains? No, I don't think it is. Sorry, 4P. I actually don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't really have any way of getting to them. I might be able to grab some of the coaches. Let's try. It's just tipped over. What? Well, I've got the coaches. I think that 4P is going to be in the way, though, isn't it? Darn. <laughs> oh, dear. How to get the 4P, because I've got more requests that I want to run. Hmm. I'm going to have to go under the desk, I think. I don't think there's any other thing for it. You're going to see some of the hidden items that I've got to request. Um, so, no, not to request, to review. Uh, so try not to look too closely. Uh, I'm not even concentrating on Donald and Douglas. Donald and Douglas, please behave. Please don't do anything wrong. Let me move back onto the multicam so you can at least see the other requests. There we are. Right, I've got it. I've got the 4P. <laughs> right, let's go and put the 4P back on. Uh, let's try it in the opposite direction, just in case it goes wrong again. Oh, man, that was awkward. That's never happened before, that, so that I couldn't actually retrieve it. That was bad. Thank you, 50th episode. And that isn't even... You see what I mean? We can have 50 wagons running absolutely fine on the outside line. And then a simple, lovely request, just a, a peaceful little train with three coaches, and it all goes crazy. I don't know. That's, did I put it on the track wrong? Maybe I'll review the footage and find that something did go badly wrong with it. I have no idea. Either way, let's go a bit slower. Let's go at 40 speed. There we go, Donald and Douglas have completed their task. I ain't going to push my luck with it, though. <laughs> Definitely not. Right, keep an eye on that. That 4P train. And I'll uh, put all my review models back onto the under the desk. Ah, oh, that was bad. I was seriously like stumped by that for a second. Right, there we go. Oh, Peter Young, thank you so much. Oh, we got his DVD copy of Yellow Submarine from Amazon. Just joined your stream this evening. Oh, thank you so much, Peter, for the support. I just had a thought. Are there wires in the way? Is it wires? Oh. Something else has gone wrong now. Now that ain't the wires. Dancing Turkle 96, thank you so much. I can't stick around today. Could you run Donald and Douglas HST style with the Sodor, Sodor Utilities van between them? Yes, that's a great idea. Michael Aldred, thank you so much. Let's pop this silly Pullman back on. There we are. <laughs> no idea what happened with that. In fact, I did make a dodgy repair to one of my Pullmans not long ago, so that could be why. Uh, could you run an EM2 electric with maroon coaches? Michael, that's a cool idea. Do I have an EM2? I probably do. I'll have to Google it and then I bet I'll recognise it. Right, well, thank you for those requests. <laughs> did I say who they were for? I don't know if I did. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I think I did. It was Terence Priestley who wanted to see the Smoky Joe with Pullmans and then it was Lapis Wake wanted to see the 4P. So there you are, man. Well, I mean, we've had a we've had a bit of drama now, haven't we? And yet there is still another train to be made with the 50 wagons here. So let's see if we can get a full house. Do you think we can get everything? Well, do you think we can get them to go around the track three times with three different locomotives without them derailing? I have no idea. I hope so. I hope so. Right, Maryland Midland Productions, thank you so much. Run the diseased caterpillar. Ah, oh, don't like that idea. We, we don't need diseased caterpillars on the track today. Uh, we've had too much disaster already. <laughs> anyway, how did you like that? Can I get a shout out, says Dragon's Camp. Yes, of course, Dragon's Camp, there you go. NG5, thank you so much, NG5. I really appreciate that, wow. Sam, please listen, can you run a 14XX with auto coaches, please? Says Mateus Colonese, Colonese, I guess. Sure, yeah, if you want to super chat me for it, I certainly can do. Uh, where's the cow on the flatbed, says Lewis Brewer. Uh, I think I took him off. You mean the, the O-Gage one? I don't know. Has, he's not missing, is he? He's not missing in action. I don't, no, I don't think so. 
No, it would have. There would have been a derailment if that had happened. It wasn't. Uh, no, this, he's not down there, is he? I don't think so. Anyway, let's do some Wall of Fame stuff then. The first thing for the... Well, it's not going to go on the wall, I don't suppose, but it was a letter from a guy called Ben. So I'm going to read it out, Ben. Thank you very much for the letter. He says, To Sam, I love trains, but I can't have a real railway, so I have a real model railway, which I grew to like. My favourite locomotive is the Class 47, but I love the HST 2nd and the Class 73 and 33. My favourite railway is the Swanage Railway. I am moving, so I'm building a new 1980s to 1990s rest Western Southern region layout. That sounds pretty nice. There's a lot of people that like uh, that sort of era. I also feel Backman is better than Hornby, but Helgen is not very good. <laughs> That's the second letter I've had uh, dissing Helgen, actually. Uh, but fair enough, yeah, I'm, I've had some bad Helgen logos. I feel Backman is better because I have two second-hand models, the Pannier and the Ivat 2MT, which I think are great. Oh, good choice. They are great, I agree. Your experiments are slightly bonkers, but are amazing, even if it is slightly dangerous. They are great in the name of science. Yours, hopefully, Ben. Oh, thank you, Ben. What a lovely, lovely... Uh, letter very well written and then yes i'm glad you you think my experiments are in the name of science uh, they are i couldn't agree more um ng5 could you dust off the daylight and have it run a bit absolutely also have you considered getting an ho scale union pacific 844 i haven't considered it but i probably might do one day and laserjet 899 hi sam could you do a train sim world video please that's a nice idea yes i, I will have to try that uh, thank you keep the requests coming they'll probably spill over now onto next episode but i will get them all done so thank you so much right requests no i just have brain trumps sometimes don't i i don't know anyway let's have a look at these so we have sam sent in this i think he said this was him inside the smoke box of a locomotive so that is ultra epic i like that one so thank you sam for sending in that then we have this this is our mikey i don't think our mikey owns this picture um so i'm probably won't put it on the wall because there is a copyright but i think he just wanted to show me uh that uh, he has found a high rail bus so there you go they do exist we found a lot of pickup trucks and stuff but not buses so there is a bus just to prove that they really do exist then we've got this one from john c who has built what looks like a lego train which is super awesome uh, oh there we go that's laser jet 899s yeah look at that isn't that all really really good he sent me some quite a few images of this um, yeah it looks great I, I wish i could build a lego train that would be so good uh, sparky 129 games thank you so much i'll just show you jason e's picture look at that coca-cola train set did you know that helgen is apparently pronounced hellian uh, jenny kirk found that out very recently yeah i have heard that before but uh, it's fairly well known that you can pronounce lots of different words in different ways like bath and bath tomato tomato it's just a different way of pronouncing it. I'm British, and that's how we would pronounce it, I suppose. Um, it's like dapple and dapple, isn't it? You know what I mean. And uh, I'll tell you what, next time I get... If, if Helgen make the effort to make some good steam locos, I'll make the effort to say their name right, okay? That, that sounds like a deal to me. Anyway, here we go. Uh, but thank you for the info, Sparky. I appreciate that. That's from Ted Still. I believe he said this was an old Lima locomotive that he's converted to a different gauge and presumably added some detail to. So well done, Ted Still. That looks absolutely epic. There's, I tell you what, the requests are awesome and the Wall of Fame stuff is awesome uh, this episode. Uh, so it's all really good for the 50th. Look at that. We have Brown Leader. That looks like that looks like the Daylight. Oh, yeah, it is. 4449. So I believe that's the Daylight. That's the model that's just been requested. So I'll be showing that in the next stream. Uh, Trainline 5000, thank you so much. Did you see my cow name suggestion super chat? I don't know if I did Trainline. I will I'll go back and read those. Don't worry. <laughs> I need some suggestions, folks, if you want to put them in. Uh, I guess Trainline 5000 has already. I recognize this one. Is this on the... Um, the Dartmouth Steam Railway? I'm not sure. It looks like it could be, but that's from Fraser W. I don't know where he took that from. It's nice and high, isn't it? Could be a drone shot, I suppose. But yeah, Fraser, that's really nice. I love that. Then George D sent in this. He looks like he was having an HST fest on Train Simulator. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, so, oh yeah, there you go. There's Train Line 5000s pop up on the screen, no problem. Uh, Oliver, oh, you might recognise this guy. Oliver S. Who could this be? I recognise him. I might have seen his face somewhere on YouTube next to uh, 60103. Hmm. I can't, I can't, it rings a bell, rings a bell. But uh, yeah, thank you, Oliver. Oh, you go by a different name sometimes for sending in that. And then lastly, we have this one from Eric G. Now, look at that. The colours somehow reminded me of Germany. I don't know whether that's got any like truth to it or not. 
but I just really love the general aesthetics of that. It looks absolutely epic, does that? So thank you very much, Eric, for sending in those. And keep the Wall of Fame pictures coming. My email address is in the description. Send in your pictures, drawings, whatever you like, and I will show them uh, on stream and put them up on my Wall of Train. Anyway, lots of requests left over from last week, so here they come right now. Strap yourselves in. Here they are. Right, we're starting off with a super precarious train. So this is Mayo Hosco wanted to see Silverlink and Mallard with both of my railguns and the red breakdown train. Now I couldn't I couldn't put both railguns on because uh, the other one, the River Rossi one, has different couplings and they're not exchangeable so I had to leave one out so I decided it would be that. Um, I'm actually surprised it's gotten as far as this to be quite honest with you. There you go, so well done Mayo. That actually seems to be halfway successful. We will just watch the chimney on the crane as it goes under the bookcase. Oof, got away with it. There you go, and they, they have had to go HST style because, again, the A4s don't have front couplings. <laughs> so I've botched it together, Mayo, but hopefully that's all right for you. Okay, this one's a really nice one from Rob Arnold, so thank you for your support, Rob. He wanted to see the new Dapol mogul, which I think is a lovely choice, with all of the new wagons I unboxed on my stream now. like Well, as you know, some of these are rather old, so the drag's quite high on a few of them. But as you can see, it's actually handling it very, very nicely. So thank you very much for your support, Rob. Uh, yeah, thank you for giving me the opportunity to run the beautiful Dapple Mogul, and obviously also the lovely new rolling stock that I'm so pleased with. So there you are. Thank you, Rob. And then we have our Mikey78, the gamer, who wanted to see Stevenson's Rocket. So that is a great choice. Very, very much a fan of Stevenson's Rocket, although one of its coaches is not properly coupled. Ah, got to fix that. Bear with me. Yeah, very fiddly job, that. Right, try again. Sorry, our Mikey. Ah, he 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 he. That's better. So thank you, our Mikey, for the lovely support and great, great choice. I did rearrange the train of the Mogul, if anyone noticed that, because one of the axles on one of the wagons was causing uh, a short, or sort of a short. Uh, so I had to go through them and check them all, but I've got rid of the one that was causing problems now, so all good. Next up then, Paul S wanted to see the Decapod with long freight. Now, don't forget, the Decapod's a Backman locomotive, so... Backman and long trains are not two things that go together too well, so I've not gone too long, but I'm hoping it will manage this freight train. Here it comes. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll thank you, Paul, while we're waiting. It's taking its time, but it does seem to be doing it. Oh, mm, that was strange. The loco got caught on something. I wonder if the cow catch is quite low to the track. I don't know. Never mind. It did it, that's the thing. So there you go. Very good choice though. Been quite a while since I've seen the, well, since I've run the Decapod. It is quite the locomotive, isn't it? That's for sure. Here's a lovely simple one from Trains and Stuff. So thank you, Trains and Stuff. You wanted to see the Woolwinder with some Pullmans. The Woolwinder obviously being the super glossy loco. Yes. Very, very nice. So thank you, trains and stuff. I really appreciate the support and good choice with Woolwinder. That's a very attractive loco, isn't it, there? Good one. Great choice. And then, Mega Train Lover wanted to see something Mansell designed. Keep wanting to say Mansell, but I believe it was Mansell. We hated being called Mansell. So we've got the Lord Nelson class, probably the better of his designs. A very big, powerful locomotive. So I hope you like seeing that Mega Train Lover. I hope that's what you would have chosen. You just said something with Richard Mansell, so that's it. And thank you too for your support. So this is a cool one from Tracked and Tested. Thank you, Tracked and Tested. You wanted to see Gordon with the Express with, of course, Edward at the back as a banker. So, cool idea, tracked and tested. I've got the two Hornbys going, uh, Hornby Edward, Hornby Gordon, uh, just because I quite like those. It's nice to run them. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. Thank you for your support, and I hope that's right for you. I hope that's what you had in mind. And Meetun, finally, was asking me about an unrebuilt Merchant Navy. Well, I haven't got one of those, but I do have a rebuilt one. So there, that is for you, Meetun. Thank you so much for your support. It does not go unnoticed. And that is the same for everybody else who is so kind in supporting me and my channel. Thank you so much to you all. Hope you enjoyed those requests, everybody. Let's go back to the live show. 
So there you go then, that is the last lot of requests from last week. Thank you very, very much for those. We're going to jump straight in. Well, in fact, no, let's have a quick chat. Uh, if anyone wants a shout out, bung it in very, very quick, and then I will show you the last round of requests for today. There have been so, so many, so uh, I'm sorry if you've sent one in via Super Chat and I've not done it right uh, right now. But I will be doing it, it will be next week, and that's the beauty about doing streams every week. You don't have to wait very long. So first on the agenda next week will be the, the remaining streams. Right, let's see. Finally caught a stream, Luca Knight. Well done. Thank you very much for jumping in there. I love you, Rocket. Yeah, it was nice to see Rocket. That was Elia Oade again. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Lovely to see Rocket, isn't it? Uh, it's me, says Thomas Wade History Club. There you go. Nice to see you. Welcome. Uh, Model Railway Review. Good evening, Sam. Good evening to you. Well done again on your reviews, Model Railway Review. Uh, your delivery is just unbelievable. In fact, if you can see his name in the chat, go check him out. I think it was his 9F review I watched. Unbelievable. The guy doesn't sound that old, and yet he's reviewing and speaking better than I do, uh, which isn't that difficult. But for someone his age, it, it is. It's very impressive. So well done. E350TB, there you go. Nicholas White, there's a shout out for you. Friends of Kirkham Henry. Uh, me on, did you read my super chat? Uh, I'm not sure me, but I will be doing I'll go through and read everybody's names and super chats. Uh, Mateus Colonies, uh, no, I, I won't have forgotten you. It's It'll be on the list. It's just, it depends when I do it. I'm doing them in order. So yeah, that's that. Um, a bullied Pacific pulling Pullman, Harry Baker, that's a good idea, I could try that. Uh, you're in the mid-twenties, aren't you, Sam? Yes, that's right, I ain't 50, I'm not really 50. Uh, please greet me, says Mar Mass Jurgetti's Jer Mass Diversion. <laughs> that is terrible, I'm so sorry. Um, whatever your name is, uh, there you are, I have addressed you, or what was it? Um, greet you, there, I've, I've greeted you. Uh, quite badly, and I've butchered your name, and I'm sorry for that, but there you go. There's my greeting. Uh, by the big boy, yeah, a lot of people ask for the big boy. Uh, it's, a, it's a popular one. And Arash Production says, never buy from AliExpress. I agree if it's anything serious or electrical, but uh, for anything else, it's uh, not a problem. Me on, yes, of course. If it was sent by Superchat, I will be doing it. It just depends when. And Alex and Trains, could you run an A1 with a rake of Ebony Artiques? Sure, Alex, I can. If you want to send the, the full £5 for the Superchat, I can totally do that. Speaking of requests sent, here we go. We've got some more. So we have the final two locomotives that are going to attempt the 50 wagon train which i'm building confidence with now so we might speed it up a bit for this one or should i oh i don't know uh, then we have a 2020 vision who wanted to see the two thomases hst style with four wheel coaches now we learned last week that the two thomases do not like each other or three of them uh, so we'll see if they're any better today i bet they won't be and then we have sparky who wanted to see the coca-cola um locomotive with some various Christmas rolling stocks. So let's do that. And by the way, I'm loving the Christmas requests. Um, next stream, I believe, won't it be in December? Yeah, so I want lots of Christmas requests for next stream. <laughs> so yeah, get your thinking caps on and uh, yeah, get those, get those in and I will do my best. All right, 60% speed. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is dodgy. I'm scared. I'm laughing. It's a nervous laughter. Uh, I am genuinely... Oh my gosh. Thomas, don't look behind you. It will be terrifying. Uh, it's alright. He's going to have seen it now. So that's the 66 and the 37 running together. Something stopped. I don't know what. Oh well, never mind. Is it something behind here? Yep. There is something in the way then, isn't there? Because that's the second time that's happened. But let's have a... Let's keep looking. Uh, oh, Sparky129, big boys on eBay that I've seen have traction tyres, so beware. Yes, the ones I've worked on did as well. Uh, I added the £2 with this. Yeah, that's fine, Alex and Trains. I will totally do that. Thank you very much. There we are. I think the Thomases seem more or less okay, don't they? Uh, can you run any... Oh, E350 again. Thank you so much. Any ROD engine with a troop train while you sing It's a Long Way to Tipperary. I, I don't know if I can do song requests. I don't think anybody wants to hear me sing anything, quite frankly. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Well, there you go. So thank you so, so much, everybody who sent in an amazing Super Chat. I think we'll have to leave the Simon Cola Express behind. No, we won't. We'll pull it back out and see if I can. I reckon there must be, when I've redone my wiring. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I mean, put the camera on. Right, you guys, that is not appropriate. 
those coaches, those four-wheeled coaches, were so close to derailing and knocking off my 50 wagon coach train, coach train, wagon train. Oh, that was so dodgy. That could have knocked the whole thing off the track. All I want for Christmas is you, says Kelly Ashford. Uh, I'm guessing that's just a quote, Kelly, because uh, you ain't wrapping me up, Santa, and delivering me. No, no, no. I'd, uh, I don't think I'd uh, survive wrapped up in a box, Kelly. Otherwise, I would be glad to. Right. Right, I can see now that it's this cable here. Well, I assume it might be. Let's pull that a bit tighter. <laughs> Goodness sake. I've been running trains back there all week since I did that. But of course, it isn't until you start doing stuff live that it all goes wrong. Right, come on then. And I will read, I'll read the super chats. Oh, man, I'm tired today after all this. Right, Thomases, please behave yourselves. And I shall look at our super chatters. So thank you so much, everybody, uh, for your super chats. It's been crazy today. So we have William Babcock, Colin Wikes, Taggart Double O, Trainline 5000, George Botterini, James Smith. Uh, no request, my friend, just happy to support the channel. Thank you so much. And also George Smith says, getting a jump. Thanks in advance, Sam. Thank you, George. Uh, we have Drew's Railway World, E350 TB, Terence Priestley, Lapis Wake, A2020 Vision, Sparky129 Games, Mayo Hosco, I'm just making sure I've, um, I have read these out. Uh, Mayo wanted to see Mallard and Broom Manor with their tenders swapped, pulling the yellow submarine EMU coaches and the railgun with an l &E break. Now, I see what you mean now. Uh, I, I see why Kelly might not like that. Oh, that's all right, Kelly. Yeah, I know you were just singing. That's all right. Uh, William Town wanted to see a passenger train. Yes, I did read that one. Thanks, William Town. E350 TB, Stephen Bat, DJM1361 with the LBS CH1. Class 07 and 08 hauling Hornby Peckett B2 on a Warwell wagon. Ten wagons and a brake van. Wow, Stephen, that was uh, an involved request. Bearded Frodo wanted to see a J15 pulling a Peckett on a Warwell with a brake van. That's cool. Um, uh, Monster of Monsters, Shining Time 4. William Babcock, thank you to you. Me Earn, thank you to you. You wanted to see Centenary Smoky Joe pushing box vans. Yes, I did read that one, me, so I did see that. Um, there you go. So it will, it will be done next time. Rowan M, thank you so much. Isaac March and Lewis Hughes, Sideways 66779, uh, the B12 and the H1, that's lovely. Uh, Maryland Midland Productions, thank you to you. Sparky129, Kelly Ashford, Harry Chapman, uh, Brendan UP, 1995, some American stock, I can certainly do that. A Christmas Ghost Train, says Kelly. Yes, well done, Kelly, I like that one. The Train Spotter from Tangura, uh, Tur Tur Turanga, there you go. <laughs> That's the second time I've botched your name today, apologies. Uh, Mark7188, Michael Aldred, welcome to the members. Maryland Midland Productions, E350TB again, Kelly Ashford, William Town, William Hawks, A2020 Vision, Sparky129 Games, Rob Arnold, uh, Ros Reedman, Sarah Trier, or oh, William Trier as well. Uh, Kelly Ashford again, AZ Rail, Rob Arnold, Stephen Blackwood, Lewis Bus Bus Buscarino. Again, my bad. I'm so stupid, aren't I? E350 TB, uh, get rid of El Cheapo, says Kelly. Keep El Cheapo, says Sparky on 29 Games. Thank you, Sparky. Something's wrong. Oh, that is. <laughs> that, has, that actually did hit the. Oh, wrong train. That actually did hit the 50 wagon train. <laughs> I'm sure it did but it did not derail it. I'm so pleased that that's gone well, although I should perhaps, if I'm smart, oh no, uh, they're not in the way. I thought those wagons and coaches might be in the way, but they're not. So train line 5000, here are your suggestions. Beefcake, Cowzilla, Moomoth, Mammoth, Mammoth rather, Moustache or Moomaduke. <laughs> I love all of those. We might just give him like a six barrel name or something and put all of them on. Uh, congrats on 50 episodes. Thank you so much. Alex and Trains, could you run an A1 with some l and Carl and Debbie Trains, I did read that one out. Thank you guys. Viridis Coyo, it's James Keir, Trainline 5000. Me on, Peter Young, Dancing Turtle 95. Michael Aldred, NG5 again, Laserjet 899. Trainline 5000 again, Spark, uh, Kelly Ashford, Maryland Midland Productions again, Stephen Blackwood. Uh, I wonder if there's a high rail fire engine, ambulance or police car out there somewhere. That would be interesting to find out. If anyone knows of such a thing, 
uh, do let us know, I'd be interested. Um, and Alex and Trains, thank you. E350 and Kelly again, thank you all very, very much. And with that, let's bring these to a halt, I reckon. So I'll try reversing it just as one final foolish endeavour. Ah, that's going to go wrong, surely. They have behaved amazingly well, amazingly well. I can hear rattling, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I would never have guessed they would behave as well as that. That is phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Oh, and oh, nothing, nothing's gone wrong there. Nothing's gone wrong. Um, I've just stopped it a bit prematurely. Nothing's gone wrong, honest. <laughs> It's all right. I think I was asking for it there, wasn't I? Right then. Well, let's finish off this stream by deciding who is going to get this awesome Oxford wagon. So I'm going to pull up my list of members. I'm going to scroll up and down the list. Where is my list of members? I thought I uh, I thought I'd brought him up. I had prepared them. They seem to have shut down for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, we can bring them back up. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put my mouse somewhere on the screen, scroll up and down, and then um, wherever I end up, wherever the mouse is when I look again, uh, will be the winner. So let's have a look. Let me bring up my list of members. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. So mouse in the middle of the screen. Right. I'm going to scroll. I'm going to scroll randomly up and down, and then we will. Is it? Yeah, it is scrolling. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to let go of the mouse and look so that we know exactly who it is. Right. Hands off. So the winner is William Babcock. There you go, William. Uh, thank you very, very much for your support. And I will, uh, I will give you some instructions on how to claim this. Now, I'm not going to be posting it until I've drawn the main winners of the competition, uh, just so that I only have to go to the post office once. I know that's a little bit of uh, a cowardly thing, but you've just got to be safe, haven't you, these days? Uh, we're still on strict lockdown. So I will just make one trip to the post office. So I'm sorry, William, that you got to wait a little while, but it is yours. It's got your name on it. Well, it hasn't, but it has sort of like in, in the minds of it all. Uh, so you must contact me before Tuesday, William. Leave me a comment below, not in the chat, actually down below, and include the first five letters of your email address in that comment. Then send me an email to samstrings at outlook.com, which is also in the description, with your address, and I will print off a label and I will send it to you for free. And if you didn't win, don't worry, stay tuned. I have, of course, got the other giveaway prizes, which I'm going to be giving away on the final episode. So yes, don't despair. We've still got more stuff to do and well done to William and um, thank you for everyone who is a member and uh, new members check out the live stream from yesterday I did the exclusive live stream it was quite a good one actually it was a good discussion good podcast uh, good topic uh, of well, good topics of conversation including a bit about the Christmas special for this year which is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks time and I'm really excited about it Right, well, next week I've got two more reviews. One of the reviews is not a locomotive, not a wagon, not a coach. So if you can guess what that might be. And Williamtown, I guess my request will be done next week. Williamtown, yes. Anyone who made a request by Super Chat, if you've not seen it in today's stream, it will be done on the next one, I promise. Right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, that was the 50th episode, and it was quite good, actually, wasn't it? I, uh, there was a lot of cool requests. Uh, you guys did that, and I've got you guys to thank for that. And, uh, yeah, that was an awful lot of fun. There we are. That's what I wanted to show. <laughs> it didn't end so well, did it? But I guess we, we got through it in the end. Right, folks, well, have a great week. Look after yourselves. Remain safe, please. And I will see you very, very soon. Thank you again for your support, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. All right, cheers, everybody. Hey folks, thank you all very, very much for tuning in for another episode of Sam's Trains Live. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. But in the meantime, please enjoy the videos that I'll be posting on my channel till then. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for your support, folks, and take care of yourselves.